Hello, and welcome to another episode on the Unbalanced Pedestal Podcast. I'm your host, Tina Marie. If you don't know, I want you, before we get into this next topic that's piggyback off the next episode, I want you to like this episode, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell because it does help the channel and it does let me know that I'm providing the content that you want. Now, let's get into this episode. Let's get into what we talked about last week, where we were talking about the art of forgiveness. And this is the art of forgiveness. We're writing a letter to your daughter to mend your relationship, to remove all those hurts, remove all those pains, all those frustrations to say, I'm sorry. And so this is the exercise that was uh, done in the previous episode. And if you have not done that, I'll have a link at the top. So you can go ahead, check that out. So you can go ahead and um, keep up with us. And so you're not falling behind. So in this episode, we're going to go into the next step, which is keeping your promise. And I know my 80s and 90s baby out there, you know about Drew Hill. You know, I never make a promise that I can't keep. You all know that song. So this is what this topic will be about. This episode will be about. It's keeping your promise. And keeping your promise is something that is so vital. Because if you think about all the times that your parents, you know, your parental figures may have told you, yes, I'll do this, we'll do that, and time passes by, and what happens? They forget, things come up in their world that they may not have the means to, or they just may simply set it just to shut you up. You know, some parents do that, to be honest. And this is a great segue from, again, writing that letter, uh, art of forgiveness, writing that letter. This is the second step. So you ask for forgiveness because of the things that you were going through, you know, in order to heal yourself, to mend that relationship, right? And so now you need to go back and say, what did I promise that may hinder the relationship even further. And what I mean by hinder, this is, again, going back to your own childhood where you were promised to go to Disney World or whatever it may be, and it never happened. And so you grow up thinking like, okay, we never got to do that. And you're sad about it, even though it doesn't really bother you because you, now you're an adult, but it's still, it's there in the back of your mind. And that is something that you need to also clarify, um, you know, within yourself to resolve that and to, you know, make things right. So I know um, some of my family members, they like to literally say, uh, I'm not going to promise you anything because then I have to keep, you know, keep my word. And so keeping your word is a very, very hard thing for people to do, but it's not like it's not doable. It is totally doable. And I just want you to think back to your childhood again, that promises that were made to you, what are the promises and how you feel as, you know, today as an adult, how do you think your child feels? How do you think your daughter or your son feels? that you have not kept that promise. So we're gonna go back into our journal, right? We're gonna start a new fresh page for this exercise. And I want you to write down all the promises you have made within the last five years. And um, we won't go to like 10 years, but the last five years, what is it that you have promised? Did you promise if they would do um, a milestone goal, you know, a milestone, um, that you will give them something? Was it um, when you would do something, like say, if I get 
um, additional disposable income that we'll do X, Y, Z. And instead of you getting, you get that disposable income, you may have did something else with that money. So what are the things like those little things that you need to course correct? Because you may not think it's a big deal, but for them, it's a huge big deal. Like, as you may know, or may not know, there are other adults out there, same age as you, much older than you, that they still remember all the hurts, the pains, disappointments from childhood. I know I still have mine <laughs> that, you know, um, you know, the individuals that affected me, they're no longer here with us. So, you know, I have to move on and forgive in different ways. And that's going back to the art of forgiveness, that exercise in the previous episode. But again, that's always in the back of your mind. And so you do not want to, again, have like, it's like starting any relationship. You get into meet someone and you're starting a fresh, clean slate and you're being upfront. So this is what you're doing. So this current relationship, right, that you have with your child, that's you with your daughter or your son, and you want to reestablish those connections again. And so again, we asked for the forgiveness, you received it. We were both on the same page. And then now we're going back to what things that we have promised to them. And also could be also to ourselves that we need to do, that we need to implement, that we need to actually complete and be uh, consistent about it. And, you know, whatever that is for you, again, it could be, again, a milestone. It could be something that you promise that's monetary that you make. So whatever it is, you know, everyone is different. It's going to look different for everyone. So I definitely want you to work on that this week and, you know, just figuring out what things that you need to do in order to make that happen, you know, um, and just work back from there. So you have your five items that, I'm um, sorry, you have the list from the last five years of what you have promised, right? From the major all the way down to the least. And start with the one that you feel that you can do right now, right today, after you have watched this episode, after you have listened to this episode, what are things that you can actually work on today? And then work your way up. And again, if it's something that has to do with monetary, there's ways around it. You know, there's resources that's out there that you can figure it out. Um, you know, we have, everyone says that we have, you know, the internet, we have all this plethora of information, use it to your advantage. So there's always ways around you know, making things happen. People make things happen out of thin air, you know. <laughs> um, and that is my, um, my exercise for you for today. Definitely, again, subscribe to the channel because there'll be more exercises and lessons on to helping you mend your relationship with your daughter. And this can also be applied to your son as well. And I want to thank you again for watching this episode on the Unbalanced Pedestal Podcast. And I see you next time. Bye.